seconds and counting. 28. ECS reduced for launch. 20. Roger. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Main engine start, zero, and liftoff of the Atlas V with curiosity. See clues to the planetary puzzle about life on Mars. Every pressures running rate right as expected. Coming up on SRB burnout, we have burnout of the SRBs. Everything is looking good. Ten second uh, SRB jet. SRBs have successfully jettisoned the vehicle. We have re-enabled guidance. Everything is looking good. This is Rob Gannett, our United Launch Alliance telemetry manager we're hearing. Vehicle is now 32 nautical miles in altitude, 54 miles downrange, traveling at 4,900 miles per hour. And we've throttled down. To hold a constant 2.5 G level for payload fairing jettison. And we fired the pyro valve, pressurizing the RCS bottle. Pressure increasing in the loop as expected. Now we're hitting our 2.5 G. We're not coming up on payload fairing. Edison, approximately 10 seconds. Fairing jet. We also had the successful CFLR jettison, but as expected, throttling up on the RD-180, everything looks good. Coming up to 89% thrust. And we are now entering our constant 4.6G acceleration throttle phase. Everything looking good. We've started to boost phase chill down. Housing teams are responding. up on uh, booster engine cutoff. Effective Pico in 10 seconds. Safe PA to use. We have Pico, retro rockets, and 
stage separation. We have pre-start on fuel and locks. Ignition and full thrust. Since our main engine is up and running as expected. Everything looks good. Steering has been enabled. We have sent our PU to fixed angles, right as expected, and we've begun our reaction control system thermal conditioning firings. Everything working. 